Hello everybody, I'm Evil Rabbit. We're here on a set of Corsa staring at this beautiful renewable lubricants Mazda Trix MX-5 from William Holloway and Kyle Moham. Big thank you to both those guys for hooking me up with this car for today's episode, giving me the uh, the keys for a little red line bashing in this rotary monster. So the detail on this car is incredible and it's just such a beautiful car and of course, you know, Energy Innovations, big uh, longtime supporter of the channel. So it's awesome to see all the Energy Innovations stuff and the Energy Innovations, you know, Kyle Moham edition wheel. So we're going to go full send on this. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media. I'll let you find the description box below. <laughs> I think it's time to go full send. Let's get to it. So we are on a bass tune. Basically, how he sent it to me with just my braking adjusted and a uh, slight gear change. Um, we're going to be running this car, and hopefully we can do this car some justice here at Daytona. I love this track. Probably my favorite track to do testing because we got high speed and low speed stuff. We're going to hit the tires a little bit, though. Definitely love doing these, you know special uh drift videos and uh hands-on protection turned off on my r21 base i had to make sure we turn that off this car's gonna be crazy with such the short wheelbase but we're gonna go full send and see if we can't do this car some justice so we're gonna take a look at the outside view as well so let's go Out to the wall as much as I could. We went a little bit wide there. I think I caught grass, so I think we went a little bit wide there, but other than that, not too shabby of a run. <laughs> There's that massive rev bank. This car is insane to drive. This car is super unique. And like I said, can't thank William Holloway and Kyle Moham for the opportunity to dr drift this car here in the Seto. We're gonna try and run this on a warm set, so we're gonna bring this back. This car just sounds so good, though. They did such a great job with the detailing and the sound of this car. I love the sound of the straight cut gears. So for our first run, not too bad. We were deep on that wall. So we're gonna run one more run, and then we're gonna take a look at the replay angle so we can see the outside and see actually where we are. Don't let go. The, the or the R21 starts to uh, a little bit wobbly. The R21 feels definitely amazing with this car. So second run, full send. Let's see if we can do this one a little bit better. Not clip that grass. It stalled on the line. kind of where I wanted to be. Ooh, we went a little bit deep in that zone. And maybe no, maybe not, because we got this car such a short back end. <laughs> so much fun. I thought we were going to bash that wall for sure on the entry, but we didn't because of the short body. So let's take a look at that replay of these two runs. And see where we are really at and digress these two runs and we'll take it to another track and go full send on it. Car so loud. I love it. And we were deep in that wall on that first run. A little bit shallow there. I think this is where we cooked the grass. Right up here. Yep. One tire dipping the toe in the grass. But overall the second part of that run was uh Pretty solid. Overall, quite happy with that first run. 
And now we're going to go take a look at that second run. I think we were uh, almost hitting the wall on this run. Yeah, I hesitated there. I thought we were going to smack into that wall. It's still a little short there, but it's I'm, this is such a short rear bumper and short there. I keep forgetting it's got a, you know, small back bumper and got to kind of get the wheels off of it, though, and not just the, you know, the back of the car. Insulting red line. So overall, this car is so much fun to drive. So we're going to go change up tracks. So you know we had to bring it to a banked track. So hopefully, we can uh, not crash this car into the wall. I'd hate to write off Kyle's car in this episode, you know, give gracious let me ride it, you know, and we wreck it. So, not sure what gear we're going to need to be in, so we're just going to go full send. Probably third start. Is quite set for this course. Nope. We needed to seriously clutch kick that out, or maybe go into second on there with the way I have my gear ratio set. So we're gonna go one more run and see what we can do. I kind of hesitate going in the inner wall. This track is not an easy track, <laughs> but full send. So I think we've done this car a little bit of justice. Make sure you guys. You know, of course, follow me on all social media as well as Kyle and William. Leave their link in the description box below as well. If you guys aren't following Kyle Moem, I don't know what you're doing here. A little bit too much left foot break than I wanted to. Came off a little bit early. We haven't stuffed it into a wall, so I guess that's a advantage. We're gonna try to bang this in a second. And just assault the red line through the finish. <laughs> so we're gonna take a look at the replay of this run. Or those two runs real quick. And we'll see, you know, how it kind of looked and see where we're at. But I think that's gonna do it here for this episode here on a set of course. And once again, a big thank you to William Holloway and Kyle Moham, and of course, Renewal Lubricants and Mazda Tricks for this amazing MX-5. And uh, this was just so much fun to drive. Let's see where we were kinda at. I mean, we were up there. Mid to high line on that first one, that was okay. Transition was decent. That I hesitated going into that zone, and we kind of couldn't keep it up into the wall. But overall, wasn't too shabby of a run. If we would have downshifted, this run probably would have been way better. But we kind of stuffed it out there. So let's take a look at the second run and see where we're at on that final zone of the second run. Like I said, make sure you guys follow me on all social media. Which found in the description box below. We were up in the business of that wall, though. A little bit too much break, came off the wall a little bit early. Transition to that wall was much nicer. We were digging that wall on that second zone. Nowhere near the wall there, but overall, a quite a good run. So as always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.